So our homework was to create uh, an echo cruise control, uh, which is a simple control algorithm, uh, which is able to adjust the vehicle speed at um, in order to to cross the intersections without stopping. So first we had to do uh, and simulation environment and we have to create it uh, in Sumo. Uh, we use two signalized intersections for for this. Uh, and of course for the control algorithm we have to have we have to know the uh, some some uh, informations about the vehicle and about the traffic light state for example and we can uh, we can know this information with the help of Trazi which is the traffic control interface um, so we use the Trazi library to know this uh, this inf these informations and uh, after this we have to set up the communication uh, between the MATLAB and Sumo um, in order to um, overwrite the vehicle speed. SUMO stands for Simulation of Urban Mobility. It is an open source, microscopic, multimodal traffic simulation. This software simulates how given traffic demand consists of a single vehicles moved through a given road network. It is purely microscopic, which means that each vehicle is modeled explicitly has an own route and moves individually through the network. That means that each vehicle has uh, different vehicle dynamics parameters and unique route. Simulations are deterministic by default, but there are many options to introduce randomness to the simulation. So uh, the fundamentals behind our logic or the basic idea behind the logic is uh, that the traffic our traffic lights uh, have two states only red and green and we are uh, investigate uh, these these states so if there is a red state and uh, our vehicle with the current speed arrive to the junction or the signalized intersection faster uh, then the traffic lights turns to green we have to slow down the car a bit uh, because uh, if we continue with the current speed we have to stop at the traffic light and of course if we if the vehicle uh, with the current speed arrives to the junction or the inter uh, intersection slower uh, then the traffic lights turns into green of course it's good uh, for us because uh, uh, we we don't have to stop uh, at the uh, intersection. If the traffic light state is green, uh, we have to uh, investigate two, uh, two things. First, uh, with the current speed, um, the, our vehicle arrives uh, faster uh, than the remaining t duration time of the green state. If we arrive faster, it's not a problem because we go through uh, on to the intersection on the intersection so the current speed is uh, okay for us but if uh, we arrive slower than the remaining duration time of the green state uh, of course we have to set a higher uh, speed of the car but uh, our control logic check uh, checks that uh, with the maximum speed of the car are we able to arrive um, in a given time in the in the perfect time to the to the junction or the intersection or not because if we are not able to arrive in uh, with the maximum speed to the signalized in intersection before it turns into uh, red uh, we don't want to uh, we, we don't want to uh, set a higher speed of the car because we just we will, we have to stop at the signalized intersections too. The highlighted simulating function contains the control logic. It has two inputs and four outputs. The upper input tells the control logic if sumo is uh, turned off or turned turned on. 
and the lower input is the ego vehicle velocity which is a feedback term from the output of the sumo logic the second input for the control logic is the desired velocity of the ego vehicle to be able to set this speed we have to use a uni delay block to avoid simulation problems the first output of the control logic is the vehicle position which is uh, the actual coordinates of the vehicle x and y coordinate uh, the second output is the remaining distance to the junction the third output is the current velocity of the vehicle and the fourth output is the desired vehicle velocity so as you can see we have if else states uh, the traffic light has, traffic lights has two states so first we investigate them if it's green or, or red uh, and after that we just uh, as we described earlier we just uh, comparing the the arriving times and uh, the current duration times of the states and we just setting up the set up the the, the velocity of the vehicle uh, slower or or uh, or a higher speed it depends on the the states and it depends on the arrival times we can start the simulation from simulink at the start of the simulation the first traffic light is green so the car uh, starts to increase its speed as the second traffic light is red the car has to reduce its speed it travels towards the intersection with the minimum allowed speed until the light turns green again After this, the car travels at a constant speed until the next intersection, which has a traffic light at the end. The traffic light is red at the mon moment, so the car uh, reduces its speed until it turns to green again. And uh, when it turns to green, it increases its speed. We can see the created road network in Simu, which can be visualized with the NetEdit application. The road network consists of two traffic lights and six road segments. It is important to mention that uh, the traffic lights only has two states, red or, red or green, there is no yellow state. As you can see here, uh, the orange line is the control logic, the desired speed, and the blue line is the current velocity of our vehicle. As you can see, the, the control logic set up the speed or the desired speed uh, of the car, and uh, and our sumo vehicle is following, following it, so it's working. And of course, we couldn't go uh, below the zero, so we couldn't go reverse. And that's why you can see that uh, there is a difference between uh, the orange and the blue, and the blue because uh, we couldn't overslow the car. So this is why uh, we couldn't go below zero uh, kilometer per hour. So this that's why there is a difference between it. Thank you for your attention.